this war. The Kremlin never expected to have this much trouble against the Mujahideen. Afghanistan is a tribal society. Tradition demands that its people stand up to any outsiders who set foot on their land. With the honor of their people at stake, they have everything to fight for. No matter how hard the Soviets hit them, they continue to appear out of nowhere, striking back, then vanishing again. But there's one thing even the Mujahideen fear. Every last one of them. The Soviet gunships. They're highly maneuverable and equipped with massive firepower. Plus, the underside of the fuselage is heavily armored. The Mujahideen can barely scratch them with their small arms. Anyone who hangs around gets mowed down by the gunship's heavy machine guns. This new honeybee weapon that was given to the Hamid fighters, it's no doubt something to help them strike back against the gunships, which makes it a weapon that could change the course of the war. Those guerrilla fighters known as Mujahideen don't actually belong to a single organization. Afghanistan is a multi-ethnic country. You've got the Pashtuns, the Tajiks, Uzbeks, Hazaras, and each of them is split into their own tribes, large and small. Each ethnicity has several rebel organizations that their various tribes gather under. They're united under the banner of Jihad, but that doesn't mean they work like a single standing army. Just look at the area around Smasi Fort. A lot of Tajiks used to live there, but they fled after the Soviets started their scorched earth campaign. With the area uninhabited, the Hamid fighters who are Pashtun decided to move in. The Hamids are based out of the city of Peshawar. We passed through it on the western edge of Pakistan. The Pashtun people have long lived in Afghanistan and western Pakistan. They used to travel back and forth frequently. Then Britain went and established the border that still stands today. The Hamid fighters get generous support from the Pakistani government. The government wants to use them to secure influence over Afghanistan. Their liaison with the Hamids is Inner Services Intelligence, and behind the ISI, you have the CIA. That's probably how the honeybee ended up in the hands of the Hamid men. <laughs>